from the station that's on your side. You're watching News 19 at 7. Virtual reality is a hit at one Sumter school. News 19 Sonia Gutierrez visited High Hills Elementary today to see how it's changing the landscape of teaching and learning. We're going to ride the roller coaster, but before you can get on the roller coaster, you guys are going to have to answer an addition and subtraction of decimals question. Math isn't always fun. All right. Take it from a journalist. If I just look through here. But when you add a roller coaster to the lesson plan, that was really cool. You'll get even me excited about adding and subtracting. So on your screen, I'm going to have a poll come up. And I want you guys to tell me what is your favorite kind of roller coaster? Rebecca Griffin has been looking for ways to engage her students and prepare them for a competitive world. I use the resources, the online tools, and the technology that we have as a supplement to my teaching. It doesn't replace me. Nearpods for lessons have been her answer. You're going to solve the problem in the box. After you do that, you're going to go and type in your answer and send it to me for each one. She's been able to save herself a lot of tedious time. Whenever I do assess the students in the moment, I can address any issues, any misunderstandings, and I can fix them in the moment and not wait until I grade a paper and find out what they do or don't know. And the virtual reality glasses, which takes the students almost anywhere, makes learning fun. We could take them to a beach, but it's not like I could um, submerge them in the water, you know? So, you know, we're learning about the landforms under the water, so virtual reality can really take them into that experience and really immerse them in those worlds that we're teaching them about. The world of math that might not always seem so exciting now can be. I'm more passionate now because I have these tools and I have fun with them. Sonia Gutierrez, News 19 WLTX. Well, this is a Silicon Valley startup backed by Steve Jobs' widow, the founder of Apple Technology.